Hey guys, this is the cinematic crop bar transition. Hey guys, and welcome back to another super exciting video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic sequence I put together there quickly. Uh, that was actually using my new GH5 camera, which I have just purchased from Orms and Panasonic. Uh, just a big shout out to them for that. Um, anyway, so what you just saw there was, in fact, Peter McKinnon's animated crop bar transition. Now, this is a much easier effect to accomplish, and it is a really, really helpful tool in uh, making your videos a lot better. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen the cinematic 2.35 to 1 ratio uh, crop bars in a lot of people's travel videos. It gives that cinematic feel. Um, this is kind of a cheat to actually doing it properly. If you want to do it properly, there's a sequence setting that you change where you go 1920 by 817, I think. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do his one where he animates the bars on and off. Uh, now he does this to change between uh, casual vlogging or casual film uh, into a more cinematic form of video. So open up Premiere Pro and let's hop inside. Okay guys, so once you are in Premiere Pro, you should have your timeline ready. You should have your cinematic sequence as well as a clip that you want to transition from. So to start things off, we're going to need to hit the new item button and create an adjustment layer. Basically what an adjustment layer is, is it's a layer of uh, essentially black video where you are able to apply effects to that and that will carry those effects over all the clips below it. So we're, we've created our adjustment layer and we're going to drag it over all of our clips. We're going to make sure that it is the same length as all of our clips so that the adjustment, so that the crop stays on the whole time. Next what we're going to need to do is head over to the effects control, to the effects panel and search for an effect called crop. We're going to drag crop onto the adjustment layer and then head over to the effects controls panel. Once you're in the effects controls panel, there are a number of things you're going to have to do here. First of all, make sure everything is set to zero and keyframe bottom and top at the point where you want to start your bars coming on. I'd like them to start round about here. So at that point in, in the timeline, I'm going to select the bottom and top toggle animation button. That's going to create a keyframe starting at zero. Now I'm going to go to the point where I want the black bars to be at that cinematic ratio. And that is a 2.35 to 1. Now to achieve that, we're going to have to change the top and bottom to 15%. Once you've done that, you'll notice your cinematic black bars over your video. And with the animation we've just created, as you are busy talking and ending off your vlog or whatever part of your video you want to go, you'll start to see those black bars transition on. And then you'll switch into your cinematic sequence. Basically, this is actually just a cheat way to do it. If you wanted to actually have the cinematic ratio, you'd have to change your sequence settings up here into um, 1920 by 817. However, if we do that, we won't be able to animate the black bars. Now that you've animated them on, at the end of, at the end of your cinematic sequence, you can also animate them off again by doing the same process, just backwards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like below. Please subscribe. I wanted to try hit 500 subscribers before the end of New Year. I don't know if that's gonna happen. We are quite far away. But uh, next year, I have a ton of awesome content coming. I'm really going to be pushing this YouTube. I'm going to go really hard at it. Uh, I'm going to put a lot of time into it. Yeah, so guys, if you like this video, please share it, like it. If you need any other videos down below, please comment below. This most likely is going to be my last video for the year because I'm going away tomorrow. I might be able to squeeze one more in. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a really awesome Christmas. Have a really awesome holiday. And see you guys next year. Cheers. And